Now, we've all been watching Trump's press conferences and they haven't been going great, so much so. They've brought in a special advisor to coach the president through these briefings. This is The Room Next Door. Right, now after the last few press conferences, you're really gonna have to hit this one out of the park, okay? So I want facts, 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 stick to the script, no unproven drugs, and try to be presidential. Amazingly, 600 will be uh, going or have gone to Illinois. We're building a 2,500 bed hospital. 2,500 bed hospital. McCormick Place. And I mean, there's a governor I hear him complaining all the time. McCormick Place. Pritzker. I hear him, he's always complaining. McCormick Place, say it. In McCormick Place, that's the big convention center. And we're helping to staff that. We're helping to staff it and probably will end up staffing it because... No, don't. He's not able to do what you're supposed to be able to do as a governor. Will you stop it? He has not performed well. What did we say about public sulking during global pandemics? And uh, the hospital levels are starting to... Uh, what? Starting to what? Perhaps decrease. Perhaps decrease? This is supposed to be a briefing, not a fortune cookie. Stick to what I've written. And the other thing that we've bought a tremendous amount of is the... Oh, no, don't say it, no. Hydroxychloroquine. Oh, Hydroxychloroquine. Yes, everyone's very impressed that you can say it without biting your tongue and falling over. But can we please not talk about this right now? Which... Am I getting interference or is that you? Shh. I think... No, don't think. We've talked about that. It's worked unbelievably. It's a powerful drug. Yes, on malaria. On malaria? Not on COVID-19. Uh, and there are signs that it works on this? No, there aren't. There's not a single glimmer of a hope of a fart of a sign. Some very strong signs? Nope. And in the meantime, it's been around a long time. That doesn't make any sense, but don't worry. It also works very powerfully on lupus. Lupus. Yes, and people suffering from lupus can't get their hydroxychloroquine because you keep telling people with coronavirus to take it, you stupid wet bag of sand. So uh, there are some very strong, powerful signs. Again, there aren't. And if you can, if you have a... Uh, what? What is this you're about to say now? No signs of heart problems. Oh, no, 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 don't mention... As rithomycin. Oh, you... As rithomycin. Stop saying the names of drugs twice. Uh, uh, which will kill uh, certain things that you don't want living. This is like listening to a pharmacist who's just bumped his head. If you don't have a, a problem. Oh, I've got a problem. A heart problem. Uh, you are not qualified to talk about this, OK? You are not qualified to talk about anything except how to govern a country slightly worse than a dog with an oven glove on its head. We would say... Nothing. You would say nothing because you're not qualified. You're just a klaxon wearing a tie. You shouldn't even be trusted with scissors. I just think it's something, you know, the expression, I've used it for certain reasons. Yeah, but don't say it now, though, eh? What do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? Um, your hair, your eyesight, lots and lots of blood. There's three things. Uh, but we have some very good signs. Once more, no signs. That's hydroxychloroquine and... Why are you saying it again? Azrithomycin. Do you think no one is recording this or something? I've seen things that I sort of like, so what do I know? I'm not a doctor. Or a politician, or a statesman, or a responsible adult who doesn't abandon a speech that I spent all night writing just so he could promote a bunch of drugs that have as much to do with curing coronavirus as this bowl of candy. And by the way, can you come and get this, please? You left it here two days ago, and I don't want to touch it. Our thanks to the brilliant Michael Spicer. We'll check in with him again in the next few weeks. We'll be back with more of The Late Late Show, everybody.